Tutorial Overview In this tutorial we choose turbulent flow over the flat plate. Reynolds number is to be 10,300,000, selected from NASA report of turbulent flow. And at the end CFD result for different models were compared with experimental data. There are three layers in turbulent boundary layer. Viscous sublayer or laminar sublayer. Viscous sublayer is the region near a no-slip boundary and in which the flow is laminar. Buffer layer. This is intermediate layer where flow neither behave as pure laminar nor pure turbulent but intermediate of these two flows. Turbulent layer. In this region flow become fully turbulent. Two non-dimensional terms were required to mathematically find these three layers in turbulent flow. One term is non-dimensional distance and other one is non-dimensional velocity. In viscous sublayer y plus is equal to u plus and it's observed for y plus less than 5. This is buffer layer, flow neither behave as a laminar nor turbulent this layer is observed for y plus values from 5 to 30. This is log layer where flow follows log law and it's observed for y plus greater than 30. Experimental data collected from NASA study report on turbulent flow. Data were extracted by using WebPlot Digitizer app. 2D geometry. Flow conditions. Meshing scheme. Fine meshing is done near wall because viscous sublayer and buffer layer is very small and close to the wall so fine meshing is required to observe these layer. As shown in figures to follow almost same trend as experimental data. RSM and SST follow same trend and deviated from experimental data at Y plus equals 1550. RKE is least favorable model in this case and it start deviating at Y plus equals 5. 